Process of Flight, Joya Gate at TF Green. Quick reference guide. Fall 2023. It's the holiday season, and we all want to see our friends, relatives, and those in between. For first-time flyers, it can be a challenge figuring out how everything works at the airport. Remember, flying is a lot different than taking the train. There's an intermediate step before going to the gate. This PowerPoint gives you the ins and outs of TF Green. Step 1, 24 hours before. Before we get to the airport and go through the steps, we must obtain a boarding pass. This is a sample one off to the left, right here. A boarding pass can either be on your phone or a printout telling you what boarding group you're in and whether you can breeze through TSA, which is mentioned in the next step. It's also a smart idea to stay at a hotel and work for early morning flights instead of getting up at 3 a.m. Not pretty. So you want to make sure that you give yourself ample time, especially the day before. So that way, if you forget something, you can just run to the store. You know, maybe run to a convenience store. Or maybe run to a Walmart and just maybe pick up, you know, maybe you forgot shampoo. Or pick up a toothbrush or something. The day of the trip. If you stay at a hotel, you can leave your card there for the duration of your trip. You will be shown to TF Green's front door to begin the process from door to gate. Be sure to give them a tip and say thank you. The next slide gives an idea of what you would expect and what you would see. So really, this is just based on memory, remembering all of these steps that I had to take the last time I went flying. So, so far, so good. Step 2A. Where do I go? When you enter TF Green, you will come in where baggage, baggage claim is, and there's a Starbucks, one of two. There's one pre-security, and there's one after. Go up the escalator and find the appropriate airline desk to check in, either with an employee or kiosk. When I went flying through during the COVID period, there was actually kiosks that you could use if you wanted that contactless since what rule and all, all those things. You can either bring your stuff with you or get it checked and retrieve it later. If your loved ones go in with you, they can only go up to the security checkpoint. So it's not like back in the day where you could, you know, you could go through all of these steps and then, you know, you could say goodbye to them at the gate. For now, you can only go up to a certain point, up to the security checkpoint, which is talked about next. TSA, Transportation Security Administration. This is the intermediate step mentioned at the top. Wear comfortable shoes that you can take off. If you have a laptop like I always bring, you will have to bring it through the scanner, 3D scanner. So you don't have to take your stuff out of your bags anymore like you used, like you used to have to. So if, I care, if I'm carrying, like, my school backpack, whereas if, I'm, if I have, like, my school stuff with me, all I have to do is just put my backpack through the scanner, and it actually looks and sees what's in there. And they would see, you know, laptop, maybe bottle of water, and so on. So you don't have to take your stuff out anymore like you used to. You may for certain things. Remember... It's been quite some time. So this is just a general idea of what one would expect. Then there are walkthrough scanners. You have to put your arms up and then you're done with TSA. You can also get scanned just with the little hand thing when they go up and down. Remember, remember what you want to do is you want to make this as easy as possible. So make sure you take out take out your take out your wallet and so on and your boarding pass is so important. This step should take two to two to five minutes depending on the time of day. TSA will scan your boarding pass and be sure to have your ID. And actually, this is what the security checkpoint looks like at TF Green. So essentially, you basically walk do, 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 and then you end up here. And then you go through this step, and then you're on your way either left or right. Wow. 
reorganizing your stuff. Now that you and your reliance have been scanned and set, you're ready to go to the gate. For our purposes, since I only use Southwest, it will be a left and look for gates 15, 17, 19, 21, and 23. Reorganizing your belongings will make it easier when boarding time comes. Step 4. Will I have time to roam around the terminal? Depending on the time of day, you will be able to roam around the terminal. Grab a quick bite, cup of coffee, or something you forgot. Maybe a gift. Maybe a souvenir. That is why it's so important to give yourself ample time. Look at the big board and see when your departure time is. So that way you can plan. So let's say if so let's say you are going to spring trade, just for argument's sake. If you're going to Fort Myers, then you look on the big board and it'll say Southwest play whatever Fort Myers. Let's say. 12 o'clock, just for argument's sake. So, if you're there, if you go through the steps, you know, the previous steps, you should be able to have enough time to actually, you know, roam around, maybe grab a snack or something. That is why it is so important to give yourself ample time. The gate and boarding your flight. Southwest has a unique boarding process. There are three groups, A through C, and numbered 1 to 60. Boarding typically begins 20 to 30 minutes before departure. Give the attendant your boarding pass, and then you're on the plane. Open C and at Southwest, so first come, first serve. The next slide gives a, gives a term you may not be familiar with. For example, what is the walkway called? So what is that thing called that we, that we walk down? Walkway from building to plane. The walkway that one walks down is called a jetway. A jetway is a bridge-like structure that connects the gate to the door of the plane in a safe way. So you're not going outside. You're just walking through the building, as you can see there. Step sets. Enjoy your flight. After finding a comfy spot to send the plane, the attendant will give announcements on, on safety and the do's and don'ts on the aircraft. Complimentary snacks and beverages are served. The actual process of, you know, taxi, pushback, takeoff, and landing, all of that will come up later on. This is just a basic guide for first-time flyers what, seeing what it is like when going through the airport. Coming back, repeat the same steps you just followed at the airport. For example, Fort Myers. So you go down the spring training, and then it's time to come home. Well, you do the same steps, but then reverse. Be sure to look for signage that says Providence. The only difference is you will have to go to the baggage claim to get your stuff, call the shuttle, back to the hotel and work, and then home sweet home. So I hope this presentation gives a good understanding of what it is like at the airport because, you know, there is talk of being of doing this on our own. So it is always a good idea to review these steps because they are so important at making sure that you can get on your way on time and you get there in a safe way. And that is the process of flying. Thanks for watching.